directions to Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is 7 hours and 27 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. Are we there yet? You should arrive in 7 hours 24 minutes. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? If you ask me again, we won't stop for ice cream. Hi there, this is Minav once again and welcome to our today video cast. In today's video, we will see some little known yet useful features of Android. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Easy way to scan documents So let's say you want to scan a document or take a picture of your ID cards. Now I know, most of you will use Cam Scanner app, right? But do you know, there is an easier way to do that without having to download any third party application. The default Google Drive app has a not so obvious feature that lets you scan documents just like Cam Scanner. Simply open up the app and tap on the small plus sign at the bottom and snap a picture. Now if you want, you can also crop it and once you are done, click on the small right sign at the bottom. Within a second, it will process your image and save it as a PDF. Now if you are connected to the internet, then it will automatically upload photo to the Google Drive. But if you are offline, then you can still access it under the drive storage, exactly like cam scanner. But Medal, what about the quality? Well, here is the document I have scanned with Cam Scanner and Google Drive. And as you can see, obviously the Cam Scanner has a better quality. But for most part, Google Drive is sufficient. Overall, why download an extra app when the default one is working fine? Number 2. Screen Pinning This trick is useful if you have kids at your home or if you watch a lot of videos while traveling. So the problem is, I often give my tablet to the little kids in my house which keep them busy for a while and I got some extra time to finish my work. But more often than not, they accidentally put their finger on the back button or on the overview button, which obviously closes the app and I have to go back and set everything again. Now of course, the same thing can also happen if we watch videos on a crowded public transport. Earlier I used to use applications like touch blocker. But if you are running lollipop or higher, then there is an inbuilt feature that can help. So to get this working, first you have to turn on screen pinning from the security settings and then go to the app whose screen you want to lock. For this instance, let's take YouTube and then tap on the overview button. You will see a push pin icon there. Tap on that and click on OK to confirm. And that's it. Now nothing will happen even if you touch the overview, back or the home button. But let's say you want to exit the application for real. For that, tap on the overview button for 2-3 to three seconds and this will unpin the screen. Number 3rd, send WhatsApp messages without touching your phone. So let's say you want to send WhatsApp message but both your hands are busy. Now what I mean by that is, let's say you are driving to your friend's house and want to text him to get ready. But since you are driving, your hands are busy. So how do you text him? Well, you will be glad to know there is an easier way to do that using Google Now. Now if you don't know what Google Now is, well it's like a personal voice assistant just like Siri in iPhone. But other than simple voice search and setting up reminders, Google Now lets you do much more awesome things. And one of that is sending WhatsApp messages. So to do that, launch your Google Now by swiping up from the home button and then say the key phrase send a WhatsApp messages and then follow the on screen instructions. Who do you want to chat with? Papa. What's the message? I will be there in two minutes. Get ready. Got it. Do you want to send this? Yes. Sending message. Overall, Google Now is getting better with each updates. For instance, yesterday they added a new feature that can read the last five text messages. So start using it if you haven't already. And if you want to see more how-to videos on Google now, then let me know in the comment section below. I will love to make more of them. Number 4. 
permanently delete data before selling your phone. So there is a good exchange offer going on and you decided to sell your phone. Now obviously you will have to erase the data on your phone before selling it. And the first thing that came to our mind is factory reset, right? But I think you already know, erasing data doesn't mean it is gone forever. Only the pointers are deleted but the actual data is still there. Which means if somebody tries then they can still retrieve all your personal information even after a factory reset. So what should you do? Well there is a simple solution for that. Head over to the settings and encrypt your device and then do the factory reset. So this encryption thing will overwrite the actual data with a garbage value. And now if somebody tries to restore your data, they are not going to get anything useful. So remember, before selling your phone, first encrypt it and then factory reset. Number 5. Use a file browser without a file browser. So this one is extremely simple yet extremely powerful and dangerous. Let's see how. Now I discovered this workaround accidentally when one day I was trying to open my password protected ES file explorer but couldn't remember the password. However you can also use it in many other ways like say you want to access the SD card on a device which don't have any file browser installed. So to do this open up any web browser and type in the URL file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash followed by the path you want to access. For instance, let's take SD card for now. Now as you can see, it will list all the directories on your browser. Now the reason I said it can be dangerous is because let's say you have password protected all your data. But if somebody has access to your device, then they can quickly open the browser and download or even transfer all your data and you won't even have a clue. And guess what, it also works on computer. So let's say I have hidden this folder using atrip command. Now in the windows explorer you cannot see it, neither will its content appear in the search result. But if you go to the same path using the web browser then you can see all the contents. Now the question is how do you protect yourself? Well the only solution is encryption. If you ever want to protect your files then don't rely on the fancy software out there. Instead use the standard inbuilt encryption which is default in almost every platform these days. So this is all for now. Here is the part 2 of less known android features. If you like to see the next part then let me know in the comment section below. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's see if this video can get 1000 likes. And like always don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.